wiped out, including a grove of trees planted in Seneca Park as a living memorial to people who fought cancer. Each tree marked with someone's name. Now those trees are scheduled to be removed to a safer environment for pilots flying into Bowman Field. The residents around that area believe that Bowman Field safety program will have a harmful effect on the environment and think the airport authority should plant even more trees around Pee Wee Reese Road and Cannons Lane. We have uh, also concern over the homeowner's air rights with the final opportunity for public input into the safety program. We have three players joining us today that we want to talk to. Attorney Leslie Barris, uh, homeowner Kim Kennel, and Arborist Michael Heyman are all here. And we're looking at some of these gorgeous trees. And let's start with the homeowner here, Kim, because I have to believe you bought in this area because in part you loved the way it looked. I know I bought in my neighborhood because I love the mature trees. Yes, I love the neighborhood and I love that there's activity, there's walking paths, running paths, leads straight into Seneca Park. It's very convenient, very beautiful. I mean, the neighborhood and the trees, even when you see it in the fall and you see the fall foliage, it's a gorgeous street. Yes, that is why I bought into, into that when neighborhood. When you bought into the neighborhood being close to Bowman Field though, was there ever a red flag? But just know this could be a safety issue down the road and we might have to take these trees. No, even I've had neighbors that I've spoken to um, that have lived there for 30 plus years and I've asked them about the planes and literally one said we've had one you know accident that was 15 years ago mm -hmm. so it's very rare that those accidents happen um, but no one has ever discussed or brought up that you know the potential of losing your trees or so not you even didn't. owning your air easement it was never brought up. It's part of, I lived over in Stratford Village and it's part of the um, uh, it's part of the ambiance of having yes. those little planes go over the top. When you're you know, sitting out in your backyard on a great fall it. day or whatever, you see a plane go over on a Sunday, it's part of the ambiance. Yeah, it's, it's part the of historic why five planes that are sure. there. Mm -hmm. But now things have changed well, quite drastically. Well, let's talk about that because part of this is FAA regulations and safety. So That's you right. are representing then homeowners in the area? I represent a group called Plea for the Trees, which includes some of the homeowners in the area. And the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, has determined that the larger trees in that area pose a hazard to aircraft. And what it particularly impacts are about the 5% of the airplanes that come into the airport. The tree height prevents them from flying in at night uh, when they're using their instruments. And that particularly impacts the jets, the small corporate right. jets that are using the airport. And more and more are using them. So is there middle ground here? We, there's a big public hearing next week. So are you the one looking for some middle ground and trying to, you know, save some of the homeowners' rights as well? Yes, so we're hoping for a constructive dialogue with the airport authority and the FAA. And the importance of this hearing is that it's the last time that the public will have an opportunity to weigh in on mitigation for the loss, the permanent loss of these giant trees. And currently the draft study that's gonna be discussed at the hearing doesn't provide any written commitment for replacing any of the trees that will be permanently lost on public or private land. And we think that there needs to be substantial mitigation and tree replacements with low canopy trees to compensate for that loss. Let's bring in the arborist right here. We know tree canopy has been such a huge topic here in Louisville. What uh, impact do you see on the city overall with the loss of these trees? Well, we know we have a severe canopy issue in Louisville. And we're going to lose 250 to 300 mature trees. They're, in some, they're telling us, they haven't written this, but they're telling us they're going to replace two trees for one large tree. But that's 1% of the canopy. So this is a permanent loss of canopy in a major way in this neighborhood. Um, and so what we're asking is for significantly more mitigation. Um, the heat study that was just done, commissioned by the city of Louisville, recommends they, they break each neighborhood into pieces, how many trees should go into each neighborhood. And the Bowman Field in the immediate uh, vicinity of Bowman Field and Bowman Field itself, the recommendation is t more than 2,500 trees newly should be planted to mitigate the heat problem we have. Instead, we're going the opposite way. They're taking out 300 mature trees, 250 to 300 mature trees, and putting back a pittance, just a pittance, two, two dogwoods or two deciduous hollies for one of these giant pin oaks that we showed pictures I think of. It's, I think it's personally, I think it's insane. And it, I don't understand what the technology is better now, but you can't land your plane. The trees have been there for 100 years. The airport's been there 100 years. So now it's a problem? Yeah. When well, did that come up? 
with well, the FAA. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but are you kidding? Right. I know. You think but, with better right. instrumentation that they wouldn't have an issue. Well, and we'll see how this all plays out, but the main right. focus is to get everybody out there who wants yes. to have that voice needs to be there yeah, next absolutely. week to, to voice that. And again, what can I we do but looking for that middle round? I everyone in the neighborhood to come out mm -hmm. and, you know, share you know. their voice, you know, come out. This is their time to express their feelings. And, you know, we love our neighborhood and we need to to really support our neighborhood. All right, thank you all so much. We do appreciate it. We know thank this you. has been a really long and ongoing discussion and not over yet. That public hearing regarding the tree removal program around Bowman Field will be June 28th from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Breckenridge Inn. I hope they have room. There you go. We've got you linked up to the draft. That's right. I think a lot of people are going to be out there at uh, greatdaylive.com and you can find more information on the Plea for the Trees Facebook page.